bam there you have it fam we got live streaming forex quotes coming right into your computer to the second finance family it's your other brother adam give bags and today we're going to be getting real-time streaming forex quotes from the td ameritrade api in python it's going to be in three easy steps first we're going to create a client and authenticate so we can connect to the api then we're going to choose our forex pair that we want to get the quotes for and then last you want to just subscribe to that stream and get that data flowing into our computer so go ahead and pop open your trusty google the source of all truth and google search td ameritrade forex pairs so right here up at the top we got forex trading investment products you scroll down so we have all these forex pairs available to get quotes for you can also look up the forex pair inside of the thinkorswim application and then also what you want to google search is td api docs so click into that top link here and then since we're going to be using the streaming client we can just open up our streaming client here and then you're going to recognize this block of code as we flip over to our script so here we are back in the script first thing we're going to do is import our modules these are all coming right from the documentation that you've seen there now this tda secrets here i'm importing my credentials from a separate file so y'all can't get your dirty hands on it but if you haven't seen how to get set up with a TD API and get your credentials straightened away. I'll save that video right there for you. Next, we have our Nest Asyncio module import and then apply. That's going to allow us to use this Asyncio module inside of a Jupyter Spider or IPython environment. Next, we have our authentication for our stream client. If you flip over to the documentation here, you basically can just copy and paste all of this, but you'll recognize this block here where we have our API key, our redirect URI, and our token path, as well as our count number. So I'm importing these from a separate file, but you can just use strings to assign the variables here. Next, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a queue class, and a queue is just a data structure. This one is a fixed length queue, so new data comes in, and and once the queue gets full, the old data pops off of the back. And you can specify the queue length here. So it's gonna be 14, 15 items. And then as soon as it breaches that max, it's just gonna pop off the back. So we're gonna use this to store the messages that come in through our stream. So next, what I do is I instantiate the queue class so we have somewhere to store our messages. And then we move on to our main function here, read stream. So first, we're gonna just log in our client and then we set the quality of service. Now, you can find this in the documentation but basically the quality of service is just a delay that's between the messages. Now Express is the fastest with the minimum delay. So we're just using that there. And then we have our next function print message. And this is what's referred to as a handler. So it's a message handler. So when items come in from the API, this tells our computer what to do with the messages. So this handler just prints the message here and then it adds the newest message to the front of the queue. Now this next part, if you've seen the other videos, you notice it's a little bit different but all we're doing here is we're adding our forex handler here you can find this in the documentation so if you're back in the docs you can just come to our level one quotes forex quotes here and then you will find our add level one forex handler you can just copy and paste that here and then we're assigning our print message handler that we're going to add here then what we're going to want to do is we're going to tell it which stream to subscribe to so we have our level one forex subs and you can find that right here in the documentation level one forex subs so just copy that paste it in here and then we need to give it a forex pair that we want to stream data for so we have the usd over jpy and then we also have our forex pair here and you can find our level one forex unsubs in the documentation and if you go right here then you can see our level one forex unsubs so just copy that and paste it right in and then that just about does it we're able to just go ahead and run our read stream so let's go ahead and run that bang bang there you have it you got the live quotes streaming coming directly to your computer now to get out of here we're just going to control c and then get interrupt there but you can see the quotes are still coming through the computer so this is where our close stream function comes into play we're going to unsubscribe from that and then you can see the messages are cut off there now if we want to take a quick look we just got a call up here test q dot q and then that's going to bring us basically a list of dictionary here and then these are gonna have our bid price ask price etc so you might have to go a couple items into the queue but all the code is here for you to parse out your bid price and your ask price it's just right here down in the bottom bam there you have it fam we got live streaming forex quotes coming right into your computer to the second three easy steps no problem right if you want to support me you can always buy me a coffee let me know what you think 
in the comments leave a like subscribe to the channel welcome to the finance family you have my blessings let's go get these bags